What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And we're back here at Durham West KB Homes out here in the southwest of Las Vegas. Have a look. We're out here off Blue Diamond in the heart of the southwest and it is warming up here in Las Vegas. Have a look around. And today we're going to be featuring the 1768 model. Two story, three bedroom, two and a half bath with a two car garage. There will be three elevation choices to choose from. The coach lighting is included with the base price. And today base pricing on the 1768 starts at $449,900 for elevation A. Then it goes up about $5,000 for each elevation. Now this is your standard 6'8 entry door on the 1768. And coming right in, we have our dining, living room, and kitchen. One thing I like about this model is the little tuck away has some linen closet right behind. And then here's your entryway. Two LEDs on the entry. We're looking at six, eight door, eight foot ceilings here on the first floor. Looks like we have our Eco B for your wireless thermostat. Also want to mention the rounded corners. I want to take you outside real quick and just tell you about Durham West. This is your standard slide as well. You can upgrade to the eight foot. And look at the backyard on this one. Now with the smaller floor plan, you do tend to get a larger setback just like this on the 1768. This must be about a 25 foot setback. Total of 167 home sites here at Durham West. About halfway sold. I like the landscaping with all the trees kind of giving you some privacy when these grow out. That is a great idea and loving the use of the artificial turf, paver stones. Lot sizes range about $3,500, $5,000 earnest money to go to contract 10% of its second home or investment. They do run off of a drawing list. They have about 50 to 60 people currently on the list or 40 to 60, somewhere around there. Welcome to KB Homes, Durham West. 93 degrees today, eight mile an hour winds. We're about 2,900 feet above sea level. And here is your footprint to the 1768. Now HOA is only $38 a month. No SIDS, no lids, no gates, no parks. Pretty simple, just 38 bucks. Now some people will ask, what do they do for that 38? They're probably gonna make sure you keep your yard up to date. Now build time is about eight to nine months from contract. Buyers are spending about 10% in options, roughly. That slide is super smooth. Now let me tell you, on the 1768, they've got the single light here in the dining, six pack, and they've added a four pack over the living room. They didn't add any fan and light pre-wire, but I love the four pack. Another upgrade they've done is they've pulled these standard 18 by 18 tiles and pulled them throughout. I love this so I love being able to see the standard kitchen now here is your standard kitchen it does come with granite on the top but these shakers are your standard 36 inch it's got a pretty large overlay on it no pools all standard but look at this vent hood this is an option now you can delete the microwave and probably just put the microwave on the counter I think I would go with the vent hood upgraded whirlpool package. I would get rid of the microwave to do the vent hood. That is for sure. It just looks so clean. I love it. No backsplash upgraded on this one, but this is an ice quartz. inch on the edge and your top mount sink completely standard I love being able to see a standard option for sure refrigerators optional now this is what I like about this floor plan you got your half bath kind of tucked away behind the kitchen pedestal sink all included in here then you have your linen closet, and then right next door you have your coat closet. I mean, what else do you need? I would load these up with storage. Do you want to point out this is your standard knob as well, standard door. 
I've been seeing them do a lot of the standard features on 1768 and I appreciate it. It's hard to see what standard features look like. Now where are the cookies? They already got it opened up. Where are they? Ooh, they got Girl Scout cookies today. Thin Mints. Great size. So this is a 1768. No bedrooms downstairs. We got three bedrooms upstairs. Got access to your two car garage, currently locked. Let's head upstairs. I can't tell, this does look, no, this is definitely an upgraded carpet. And as soon as you come up, you've got your loft. Have a look at that. Two LEDs upgraded. You got stereo speakers because she's a model. So here on your loft, you have your access to your washroom, your secondary bedrooms in the front, and your primary suite in the rear. Eight foot ceiling, six, eight doors. Welcome to the suite. I do appreciate the corner windows, brightening it up a little bit. We are looking south, Southern Highlands over here. You got the I-15. We are quite a ways down Blue Diamond, but we are getting close to the mountains out here. Now here's the primary bath. No, no door by the toilet. You know, it's funny, I was out with a client the other day and they didn't like the idea of having the door there. It's kind of the first time I heard that. Usually people are like, I want the door for privacy. Got a nice walk-in closet here. Ice courts, top mount sinks. This is your standard hardware. Standard tub and shower comes standard with the linen closet. Now what I would do is I would upgrade this area to the super shower and just completely make this one large shower. Probably shower twice a day with that beauty. Now here's bedroom number three. It looks like 14 by 10, 14 by 11. Probably 14 by 10. It's long and beautiful. Two dual windows, low E, argon gas, dual pane, high efficiency windows. Welcome to KB Homes, Durham West. Straight in front of us, we got Blue Diamond. You got the Red Rock Mountains to the left. Got the sliding closet and the wallpaper, definitely making a comeback. Now here's your shared bath. I would do the extension to add the second sink. Just makes it a little bit more flexible. Got your standard tub and shower with your chrome hardware. And I will say the bathroom does have quite a bit of room. You're not gonna feel too claustrophobic in there. And they pulled again the same cabinetry from downstairs. So if you would have upgraded downstairs, you would have upgraded upstairs as well. Here's bedroom number three. And is this the fort? I love that. So cool. I remember building forts when I was a kid. I would flip over the couches, add all the pillows and covers and just have Fortnite. I doubt any of my friends are watching from back in those days. I was like 35 years ago. Oh my goodness, time does fly. Good room, the home, the home has a good feel to it. I like this floor plan. I don't know, I mean the 1768, it actually feels just right. Maybe two kids, once you get that third, it starts to get a little bit too, if you have too many kids, it, you will start to feel a little tight a bit. That's my problem. I feel like the perfect size home is around that 22 to 2400. Thinking about like maintenance and everything involved. I like a large home, don't get me wrong, but I don't like cleaning a large room. What do you guys think? I could use one of those dryer vent boxes right now. Mine's all kinked up. And then right behind the door, you do get this smart box included with the router, Wi-Fi, and coax cables in there. Pretty cool home. Did I show you this closet? I did. Well, what do you guys think? That's the 1768 model Durham West KB Homes in the Southwest. 
Las Vegas. If you guys would like any more information, give me a call anytime. And let me know what you think about the house. And we'll see you on the next one.